You're about to get on? His little arm. Oh, alright. Look at my little crown. It's cute. Are you a court? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, okay, yeah, so I completed everything I had to do last time. There's only one thing to do is Yahar Google. Oh, Alright, so if you try to go to the Hypogean Gal, it says that you can't. Because now Yahar Ghoul is a full area that you can go to, and oh boy, it's so much fun. Yahar Ghoul is the funnest area in the whole game, and there's nothing wrong with it, and there's nothing bad with it, and I think everybody will enjoy going through this area. That's absolutely not horrible at all. Alright, let's see. Where I leave off. Plus eight, plus seven. Executioner set, of course. Let's put some Molotov on. And, uh. Lovely chunks, okay. Oh, right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so let's just run past these pieces. Said it doesn't really matter because uh, everyone here is just gonna respawn anyway. So generally, the fail maidens are uh, are are close enough to each other that even if you kill one, the other ones will still be able to resurrect everybody. It's just it's just a whole lot of fun in one area. <clears throat> you can tell from the excitement in my voice. I'll go through this quick though. The Mensis ritual must be stopped, lest we all become beasts. So let's learn something new, the Mensis. We don't know what that is, and we'll figure it out later. I don't know. Uh, no, I was watching uh, another YouTuber who believed uh, that all the blood used in Bloodborne was like magical blood, which is why only the girls can give you blood. Uh, it's like nuns. It's a pure blood, I guess. Oh my god. Yep. And that's why you don't mess with these. Let's see. Okay, is there anybody else outside? Eh. You guys can stay. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Hop down there, or we can go down here. There's a th door over here, but it's locked from this side, so I'm gonna try to open it from the other side. Yeah. There's a bell made in here. Let's make this quick. stuff going on. Alright, so we're going there in a minute. Actually, you run past all these enemies. I usually just... Oh, air. Nice. I usually do just run past all these enemies. I'm going to actually try to fight them this time and see. Oh, God. Not worth. Bell Maiden's down. Wheelchair dude is... There we go. It took him a while to actually die. That was weird. L listen, man. I have a huge hammer on my back. I don't need to take anything. Oh, right. While you're here, might as well open up this door. Quick shortcut. Don't really need it, though. Friendly Cold Blood Knight. Nice. So most of this area is just running from Bell Maiden to Bell Maiden. Honestly. Um, this 
or it gets it's bad and it just gets worse. <laughs> This area is just, it's, it's bad and just keeps getting worse. Oh god, there's small little cocktails real quick. Everybody loves the cocktails. There is... A thing, oh look, let me see one up close. It's gross. There is a thing I want to get, however, let's not do this. There's a different way to get there. Let's quickly look for those girls respawn. But, um, actually, maybe not. I should be able to do it. Because it kind of closes off an area for you, but not closes off. It's like, you'll have to just backtrack a little bit. But let me try something. Come down here, this little broken ledge. Make sure nobody follows you. Oh my god, or everybody and their mothers literally follow you. That too. Okay. If you went that way first, then uh, you'd end up down there, and uh, all these people just continuously respawn. So, to avoid that, you come up here first. But that, this dead body right here, you can only come here if you uh, drop down here. You want this. It's the upper cathedral key. A quick read. Uh, the key to the upper cathedral ward. Uh, the upper echelons. Echelons of the healing church are formed by the school of Mensis, based in the unseen village, and the choir occupying the upper cathedral ward. This key brings one step closer to the choir. So now, uh, at the very top of, um, let's see, the, the, the cathedral ward where the abandoned workshop is, uh, right next to the Odin Chapel, we couldn't there's a locked door there before, so now with this key we can actually open that door and go into the upper cathedral ward, which is one of my favorite areas. Um, for no really particular reason, other than it's probably just the scariest area in this game. Bloodborne does horror pretty well, actually, and uh, the upper cathedral ward is a, a good example of that. So normally the, the big guy up there that I fought, he would come down here and attack. And we got the tiny tonitrus, which is a uh, another hunter tool. So you can throw that into the ground, and uh, it creates a little electrical spark. I don't have to run past the enemy, get a better look at it. Although, I don't really want to look at it for too long. Oh god. Okay. Let's run past the ladies again. Excuse me, pardon me, don't mind me. She followed me. That's good. Yeah, uh, generally you want to go into this next area with nobody following you. Because uh, it it's just a cluster. There's going to be everything everywhere. That's not a good trade. I don't like that. I don't like trades. The big health loss. So, uh, yeah, laser beams are a thing now. Aliens apparently have laser beams. So that amygdala over there will, uh, if you get too far uh, into this area, into this little courtyard, it'll shoot lasers at you. And it is uh, it's a great experience, honestly.
Yeah, and it does a lot of damage. Just shoot in the same place every time, though. Alright, so let's see if I can just run past this. I think it's safe over here, that's where she was at. Alright, let's go. So you do have some time before when you actually shoot the laser, and then when that laser explodes, the laser doesn't hurt you uh, when he first shoots it. It only hurts you when it explodes. And this guy over here. <laughs> Let's go give him a piece of our mind. Oh man, just as he left. Dang it. Oh god, there it is. Oh, they're so big and gross. <laughs> no. Uh, I think over there you can see uh, where the Hypogean Gowl was. That's where the uh, thing was. You can see the, the statue, the Amygdala statue, which now makes complete sense. Let's just see a hunter down there where uh, the Snatchers used to be. So now you know when you come into this room, just watch out for the hunter. And I'm saving quick, real quick, so we can get that, uh, get the scurrying beast back. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Master, please. Uh, <laughs> Dobby, Dobby is a free elf. <laughs> I have uh, the the case, the game case for Bloodborne, sitting on top of uh, the game case for Stardew, and so it's rated M on top of rated E, and so it looks like me, <laughs> me plus ten, me ten plus. <laughs> How old are you again? Me ten plus. No, don't wait. Good. And get some more blood chunks. We have three. So that means I can. Six, seven, no. So I need eight for this, and I need five for the Kirk Hammer. Alright. Alright, and now this. Uh, oh, look at this arm. How long that is. It's crazy. I mean, they look, they look so cool. They look so gross. Alright, uh, the Bell Maiden is... I actually can't see her. She's, uh... Right where my head is, I suppose. Right where my, my head is. She's right there. So if you want to run over and, and uh, snatch her real quick, you can. Anyway, there's a lot of things going on below. And there's also dogs. Somehow these guys over here didn't notice me, but uh, let's go over and kill her real quick. There's a guy with a gun. Well, he doesn't really seem to be that concerned about me. Good. Let's so run past him. There's an item over here, and that guy there. But ta-da, look where we are now. Back in the- hey. Guy. <laughs> Shoot! Scram! Wow. Look how much damage he did! It wasn't even that strong of an attack. Anyway, you can see- oh god. Alright, so you can see that hunter that we saw there. Um, and then we can see another hunter sitting in that corner over there. Uh, oh god, and there's another hunter right here. And you can see the other ones are coming over to get you. Yeah, this room. <laughs> as if... Oh my god. As if Yarhar Ghoul couldn't get any worse. They give you three hunters in a row. Or not in a row, but all of them together at the same time. Alright, let's see. What's going to be the best way to fight these guys? Where's that one in the center? Oh no. He's the one I don't want to fight. Oh 
Okay, let's see. How can I do this? Okay, he has a cannon. He's a rosemary. Weapon in the game, unless the NPCs are using it. All right, let's try switching. God, that was a combo was great. Oh, he doesn't have the Rose Marinus. He has a flame sprayer. Does that make sense? Uh, well, I guess both would make sense. I trade. Alright, let's heal up. How we do quick attack? Yeah! Alright, that's one. So we saw the two, uh, this guy, and there's also one with the arm cannon. So both of those are fine to go up against. The last one is a little bit more difficult, though, and you want to fight him definitely by himself. I don't even know where he is, though. He booked it. Oh, there he is! Yeah, we don't want to fight him with anybody else. We want to fight him alone. He is not a friendly face. And then this guy, arm cannon. Uh, is that a rifle spear? Oh god. Everything about this thing sucks. <laughs> All right. Luckily, oh, I'm going to carry this guy. Yes, yes, yes! Luckily, uh, the other dude's actually kind of staying off. Usually he doesn't. <laughs> oh, that transform attack was great. Alright, the other guy's gonna be a little bit more difficult, especially when it comes to, uh... Is he dropped his Quicksilver? When it comes to parrying. Uh, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Okay, so he has a... Yeah... He has the Beast Claw, which you actually have to get through the Chalice Dungeons, and I think he has a... The, the pistol. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's completely naked, except for his, uh... Iron Helmet. Oh, there we go. That's what you don't want him to do, is transform. God, okay. Get some stamina before I actually try to attack him. Look at that, look how patiently he waits for me to whiff my move. But even move in on it, he could have totally attacked me there. I guess that's it. Alright, he's actually the easiest to fight. After all that, and then claw mark. Alright, let's see what we got. We've got Clarmark before, and we got Air before. And I think I just dropped Quicksilver, and then the Tantantra. So that's it. Not too bad. Let's go down below and see. Because last time we were in this area, we entered from this way at the bottom. So we were thrown into jail. I want to see what's down here. We met with a wolf, but not just any wolf. It's, uh, it's a wolf made from just tails. It's just, or not tails, uh, feet. It's just legs, legs and feet. There's nothing else. It's just that. Because why not, I suppose. God, it reminds me of the, the Captain Crunch. Like, oops, only berries. It's like, oops. <laughs> only, don't close it. Okay. Open the door. A Captain Crunch, oops. Only legs. Uh, they're just a slightly stronger variant, not that bad. Madman told surreptitiously, rituals, would have read that. Let's see, and then down here is where we met, um, Adela. Who I believe, she may or may not be dead if you come down here after the, uh, the first time. Oh, and the Snatcher. I guess that was the Snatcher that snatched us before. 
Out in the streets. Out in the daytime. Look at that. 50,000. So everything here is super strong. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. I'm running low on blood vials and uh, I have 50,000 souls. I'm packing. Or echoes. And uh, I should really get out of here. Oh, that's new. Dang. I didn't know he could do that. That follow-up R2 is no joke. I sent him flying. The first R2, a fully charged R2 pancakes, and then a follow-up R2 just sends him flying. I mean, how could you not love the Kirk Hammer? It's such an amazing weapon. Yeah, this area seems to be toned down a little bit from all the enemies that were here before. Yeah, it's just the, like, wolf down here. This is still open, that's nice. I don't think this would be open if you didn't, uh, open it your first time through. Let's see. Bloodstone chunk. And then this just leads straight to Parl again. There's no Parl V2. Uh, it's just uh, another shortcut. Can I eat in my crunchies? Ali made uh, chicken fingers, I guess. They're what? Uh, where are they? Chicken fries? Yeah. Like, uh, like the Burger King ones. But they're not Burger King. Okay, and now we get into the... Uh, it just keeps getting funner and funner from here, folks. So the pig is replaced with... Oh god, whatever this is. Uh, I think I have a grab attack. I think it goes without saying, don't let you get grabbed by it. Oh, you didn't drop anything, how nice. How kind of you. Any... No, the witches are gone. That's cool. Um, let's see. Pale! Behold, a pale blood sky. Now it makes sense. First time I read it, it makes sense. Now we are, that's the way we want to go, which means everything about over here is optional. That's more good. Two shots should be enough. Did that shot go over my head? I don't know why, but your player character is like super short. Like a lot shorter than other characters. Like you compared to the doll. I mean the doll has a purpose for being tall, which we'll get into later. But um The player character is just like really short in general. Compared to compared to most enemies. Most humanoid enemies, I should say. And then there's no, uh... Yeah, there's something in there. There's no more dogs, though. That's good. But I want to go over here. So now the Bell Maiden's gone. Nothing's going to respawn anymore. However, there is a shortcut here, which I want to unlock. We'll come back to that later. I have four blood vials, so... Whatever I'm going to do, let's make it count. You know, just burning skeletons, because why not? Usually they do the burning beasts, because, you know. Let's see. Whoa! I did not expect that. So yeah, they're really strong. I forgot they're that strong, though. Um, ah, Jesus, that's almost 60,000 echoes I lost. I've got to go back and kill him without dying. Is it barbecue sauce? What do you Mmm. Not bad. Alright. Let's try that one more time. But this time, without dying. Alright, let's the bell maidens again and everything. Alright. Watch me fire. The hunters don't respawn after you kill them, luckily. You don't have to fight them every single time you come down here. 
Uh, the Screaming Beast would still be here, I believe, if we didn't get it before. These guys generally drop um, the big skeleton whatevers. They drop uh, gemstones. And then let's go kill her. Excuse me, madam, don't mind me. No. Oh, jeez. I was about to say, they can't attack, but she does have a dagger if you don't do that. Yeah, we don't want to ring that bell. Uh, there's a thing in Nightmare Frontier that I actually never brought up. Um, there will be a lady constantly ringing a sinister bell there. I don't think you can actually find her and kill her. But she's always ringing a sinister bell. Meaning as long as you're in the Battle front or the Battle Frontier. As long as it's too much Pokemon. As long as you're in the Nightmare Frontier and you have it online, you can be invaded at any point. I'm playing offline so that didn't happen to me, but... This. There we go. That's how you do it. More body snatchers. That's really interesting that all the body snatchers are dead. It's kind of like these things. Like the body snatchers were existing here before. And then once these things, I'm guessing these are Eldritch uh, horrors. Once they descended from wherever, then they. Uh, they kind of took over this entire place. Anyway, you actually can't see the, the model that's in there. Interesting enough. So, it's bait, obviously. You come over here to get the snatcher, and then you get snatched yourself. There are, like, about three or four of these guys right over there. So try not to make too much noise. Alright, so fully charged R2 and then R2 follow up should be able to kill them. Anyway, we're getting blood chunks up the wazoo. We got 12? Oh boy, let's see. I need 5 and 8. What's 5 plus 8? 13. 13. If I have one more, then I can upgrade on my track. Okay, talk, get to them, do it. Luckily, I was the only one left, or I actually would have died. Oh my god. Alright, we got those, uh, let's see. I don't know where the blood gems are kept. Here we go. We got, oh, is it blood tinge? I thought we got a different one. Here we go, we got beast hunters. Uh... So physical attack, let's see, attack up against beasts, and then there's an attack up against kin. It's pretty good. Um, kin, I think, refers to eldritch wars. The eldritch truths. No, no, hit a wall here. Is there a room? Oh yeah, forgot. How spicy are these? I I pressed that on accident. Alright, everything here is good. Um I guess we can go down. Oh we're not going. My shirt? Napkin drawer. Is this door open? Hello. Knock knock. Let me in. All right. 
past this point. It's all new. We haven't seen this yet in Yarhar Ghoul. Because this door is closed. Um. You can make a mad dash to the boss. I. It's just. Everything sucks.